Hi, I'm Ro Zing, a support engineer with the Blackmagic Design Singapore office. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can share your Fusion compositions by packaging them into a DRFX file. Using the Fusion page within DaVinci Resolve to create your own motion graphics or visual effects is just the first step. After you're done, you might want to share it with friends, colleagues, or simply move it to a different machine like the iPad so you have access to your templates wherever you are. Let's take a look at how that can be done. I have already created a lower third in the Fusion page. Before I can package the effect, I'll first need to save it as a macro. I can do that by selecting all the nodes in the node graph, right-click on any of the selected nodes and go to Macro, Create Macro. This brings up the Macro Editor window where I can rename the macro and choose the parameters I want to expose as editable controls. To save the macro, simply click on the close button at the bottom right, then click on yes when prompted. You can save the macro anywhere, but I'm choosing to save it to desktop so I can easily access it when packaging the effect. Now that my macro is saved on desktop, I can proceed to package it into a DRFX file. So let's proceed to the next step of packaging your effects. To package a macro into a DRFX file, you'll need to follow a specific folder structure. The simplest way to access the folder structure is to right-click on the templates bin in the effects library and choose Show Folder. Here you can see macros used in the cut and edit pages are divided into four different categories, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. This is the structure I need to follow. Since the lower third I have created is for use in the cut and edit pages, I can simply copy the entire edit folder over to my desktop. Then I will place the macro into the titles folder. This will ensure that the lower third will appear in the Titles browser on the cut page as well as the Titles category in the Effects library on the edit page. Next, I will need to compress the entire edit folder. Then change the extension to DRFX. If successful, you will see the file is now a DaVinci Resolve template bundle. To use this package on a separate machine, I'll first need to transfer it over, which you can do so with external drives. Since I'll be using the iPad, I can simply airdrop it over. To do that, right-click on the file, choose Share, Airdrop, then select the device I want to transfer it to. With the airdrop request sent, I can now go to my iPad and accept the request. When prompted on the iPad, click on Open with Files, then navigate to On My iPad, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, and click Save. Next, to confirm that the package has been installed, I'll launch DaVinci Resolve for iPad The template can be found under Titles. To add the lower third to the edit, simply drag and drop it into the timeline. Slang and I'm the founder of Oregon Mountain Outfitters. Uh, we are located in our store in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you how to package your Fusion compositions as a DRFX file and transfer them to a different machine. For more information, please visit our website, blackmagicdesign.com.